Juanita Simmons Scott, Black Developmental Biologist. Juanita Simmons Scott has done important research during her career as a biologist. But more far-reaching is her work as an educator. In addition to planning courses of study for students at the university level, she has actively worked with grade school science teachers to ensure the highest level of skills and knowledge. Juanita Simmons was born on June 13, June 13, 1936, on a small farm in East Over, South Carolina. She was one of 15 children, and the family had no electricity or running water in their farmhouse. But Juanita's parents knew the value of education and encouraged their children to study and work hard. A good, a good student, Simmons had no strong leanings towards science. Upon graduation from high school, she enrolled in Clinton Junior College in Rock Hill, South Carolina. She found an affinity for, infinity for biology, in part from her experience with plant and animal life on the family farm. Upon graduating, she transferred to Livingstone College in Salisbury, North Carolina, where she majored in biology. She also took teaching certifica certification courses because she thought she might want to be a biology teacher. Simmons graduated from Livingstone in 1958 and took a job as a high school science teacher in Hopkins, Hopkins, South Carolina. A year later, she married her high school sweetheart, Robert Scott, and the couple eventually had three children. In 1960, she, enrolled, she decided to enroll in Atlanta University for graduate work in biology. She was particularly intrigued by how certain, certain animals, such as frogs, can regenerate lost limbs. Her master's research was centered around the connection between some species' ability to regenerate and organ transplantation in humans. She was awarded her master's degree in 1962. A year after receiving her master's degree, Scott was offered a position on the faculty of Benedict College in Columbia, South Carolina. Her third child was born the following spring, and in the fall, she took a position at Morris College in Sumter, North Carolina, not, not far from her hometown of Eastover. Morris was a small school, and Scott was the only biologist on the faculty. Scott returned to Benedict College in 1968 as an assistant prof professor of biology. For the next several years, she taught and also conducted research on the effects of toxic waste on local waterways. But in the mid-1970s, she decided to switch gears and devote more time to education. Scott felt that many science teachers at the high school and even the college level were often ill-prepared in actual teaching techniques. For this reason, she decided to take her doctorate in education rather than biology. She received her PhD from South Carolina State College in 1979. Scott continued her work as a researcher at Benedict, but devoted more and more time to curriculum development. By the 1980s, she was involved in programs that provided better training for science teachers in grade school and high school, and that provided ideas to students for science projects that might motivate them to explore science more thoroughly. In 1987, she won financial, su financial support from the National Science Foundation for her work with 5th and 6th grade teachers. Scott was named Dean of Arts and Sciences at Benedict in 1994, expanding her administrative responsibilities to 10 academic departments. Citations are in the description.